Selamat malam rekan-rekan media yang sudah hadir di sesi pre-match press conference pertandingan Persi Persebaya melawan Persija yang akan diselenggarakan besok di Stadion Gelora Joko Samudro. Sudah bersama saya, Pati dari Persija, Coach Thomas Nol. Welcome Coach. Thank you. Gresik. <laughs> Dan Mas Hanif Syabandi. Selamat datang Mas. Uh, langsung saja, Coach bagaimana persiapan untuk menghadapi Persebaya uh, besok? Oh yeah, selamat malam uh, to all the three people here inside. Um, yeah, next game after after the, the derby. Now um, we have the next game and uh, yeah, short training session. So more regeneration and uh, uh, always two groups. And today we have the team uh, the first time. And training session together and uh, yeah, prepare the, the important game uh, tomorrow against Pesci Bayer and uh, hopefully uh, we are coming with the same motivation like some days before when we played a really really uh, good game also and uh, yeah this is always important that uh, we, we have to find also a good motivation for the, for, for to the game for tomorrow uh, because everybody know how much energy you put in the derby I was also player and now it's important that uh, yeah that the guys know we have a possibility to fight not only for the first place also for the for the second place and uh, this is a, it's a good target for everybody Jadi selanjutnya uh, Mas Hanif, Mas Hanif uh, kalau dari pemain sendiri bagaimana uh, menyambut pertandingan melawan Persebaya? Karena kan Persija melawan Persebaya selalu menjadi partai yang besar. Mungkin silakan. Iya terima kasih. Uh, selamat malam semua. Uh, sebenarnya apa yang saya sampaikan itu sama, sama yang sudah disampaikan oleh Kusno Mas ini karena uh, ya tadi Mas bilang juga ya, Persija Persebaya itu juga laga yang besar. Namun di situ juga um, saya sebagai pemain dan perwakilan pemain ingin memainkan pertandingan sebaik mungkin um, belajar dari permainan-permainan sebelumnya dari kekurangan-kekurangan kita dan saya harap ke depannya dari pertandingan ini saya bisa memberikan yang lebih baik lagi dan teman-teman juga bisa memenai hasil yang positif untuk pertandingan besok itu aja. Oke okay, uh, selanjutnya kembali ke coach coach dua tim baik persebaya dan persebaya sama-sama tidak diperkuat dengan pemain terbaiknya. Sebagai ada si dan uh, show yang harus absen, lalu di uh, Persija ada Rico, lalu ada Ferrari. Uh, bagaimana menurut tuh pertandingan yang berjalan besok? Yeah, this is this can happen at the end of the season. Um, this you know you miss player because of injured, because of uh, now also yellow cards. I mean, for a player with yellow cards is also I think a record for me in 22 years. <laughs> Since I'm a football coach, um, it's a, a lot of players. Oh, and uh, two players in the starting eleven, the last game, and two players they came inside with Nico and with Micha. And uh, yeah, we have uh, other good guys also in the cattle. So um, they will come tomorrow inside and uh, help the team. So for me. It's never so important, but you know, when you cannot change the situation because the real reality is this. Uh, I don't must think so much. I think more um, for the player they are on the pitch tomorrow because it's more important because this is past already, and we are here and now, and uh, tomorrow is an important game. And, and what's happened with the concurrent with the opponent? This is never in our hands. So for me, it's always good when we play against the best team, and also with the best team, and Persija play. And this in this season was not so often. And uh, today I spoke in the in the airplane also with my coach team. Uh, the last months we never could play maybe two two games behind with the same team because we miss always. One, two, three, four players, yeah, and that's why, um, yeah, the guys until now they did it well, and we have a big target in front of us. 
Pak Jisatus adalah salah satu pelatih lokal dan sepuluh besar yang masih berjalan di awal musim dulu ke sebagaimana sosok Pak Jisatus Kemudian yang, yang, yang kedua, uh, besok Persija hampir dari 2019 tidak pernah menang Pak Jisatus Apakah aku setahu itu dan kemudian ada harapan besok untuk menyelesaikan uh, hal, hal buruk itu Kemudian Pak Jisatus, Pak selama ini kan di Alemah selalu kalau ke Rauh Sebe kan selalu naik lagi sini Nah ini tadi naik bus, di kawal dengan teman-teman Pak Jisatus, sih rasanya akhirnya Yes. Okay, I start with the first question. Uh, yeah, that means he's a fantastic coach. And uh, Percy Bayer, they trust him. And uh, uh, that means he has a really good relationship with the board. And uh, so in the modern time now, and we can see this in Europe and, and also here and a lot of other countries, uh, sometimes the people, they don't have so much patience because they think we have to change from one moment of the other moment. A coach, like you change your socks, you know, when you start in the morning, wake up. And uh, sure, it's, it's, it's never nice because some coaches, they don't have the time also to work for the longer time with the team. And, uh, but we know the results, they are always important for a football coach. So we know this when we sign a contract also. That's why it's good to hear uh, that he is long time here also. I mean, uh, the whole season because a lot of uh, teams, they changed. And uh, ha I'm happy to meet him tomorrow. And I hope we can see a good game. And uh, the second question. Here? No, no, no. Oh, oh, free game, free game. Oh, 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 also home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also home, home, away, and the weekend. Yeah. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a long time. Normally, I'm, never, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not so a big fan from statistics because player change, uh, coaches change. Um, I mean, we are also not playing tomorrow in the stadium from Percy Bayern because we are here. But uh, yeah, this is also a big motivation for my player. Sure, because uh, I mean, we had um, some good statistics since in this season also. I mean, for, I remember when we played in, in Malang a long time, we couldn't win there maybe. Or we have a fantastic statistic also home with 13 winning games and three draw and the from the three draw are two draws, not home. We played in the bubble, so it was not in our uh, in not our stadium in front of our fans. So we have some a lot of positive things in this season. And why not tomorrow uh, also start again with these positive things? This is in our hand, and uh, yeah, everything is possible that we can win a football game against Percy Bayer, but. You have to do a lot uh, for this, and we have to change the face also. The last uh, matches outside were not good, and uh, well, the player they noticed that we we can play outside uh, a better football also, and we have to do this. Okay. Yeah. Um, saya rasa sudah waktunya ya uh, kita sebagai pemain bola tidak pergi ke stadion menggunakan tantis saya merasakan itu berkali-kali di arema gak cuma saat, saat kita melawan persebaya dan di Persija pun juga sama saya, saya berharap kita belajar dari yang sudah sudah dari kemarin kita lagi gitu ya saya berharap ke depannya sepak bola ini sudah tidak perlu ada uh, menurut apa menggunakan tantis lagi ya mana itu kan kita menggunakan itu karena takut terancam akan bahaya di luar lapangan karena sepak bola itu sebenarnya sejati itu menyatukan jadi saya berharap ya fanatisme itu tidak perlu mengancam nyawa gitu. jadi sepak bola pers, apa, uh, pertarungan persaingan itu ya cukup di lapangan sebenarnya belum menit sisanya kita menonton juga saya sama komen persebaya juga banyak teman-teman saya di sana bahkan pas Adi Salih pun juga yang membuat saya pelatih saya awal ke 31 seperti itu jadi saya berharap ke depannya uh, kita sebagai pemain pun juga terasa terlindungi di mana kita berada. Itu saja saya berharap ini terus berlanjut tidak hanya pada lagar persis.
Jan maupun tim tim lain gitu. Oke, 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 saya kira cukup. Oke, okay. uh, terima kasih untuk rekan-rekan wartawan. Terima kasih. 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 Terima kas